Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Elephant Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Pokemon Kingdom. So today, once again, we're starting off with these stories. I think this will probably be the second last, or possibly even the second, probably second or third last, because I'm pretty sure we're almost done, like very, very close to being finished with Latte's quests, and um, Espresso is close behind. Almond Cookie is a few more to go. I think he's still got quite a few quests, but we are working our way through these, so I know there's a lot of story lately, and will probably still be a lot, but we are making our way through eventually. Eventually, we're going to be done. So anyways, let's get started with Latte Cookie. Phew, they will know better that, than to annoy you next time. Thank you, kind cookies. We are preparing for the worst. More wizards will be waiting right outside the village. You can follow them. But if those gank goblins cause you any trouble again, just call me. Phew. Thanks to you, it went better than I thought. Thank you very much. It was pretty easy, but does this mean that today's class is cancelled? Huh? You didn't know? Another professor was supposed to tell you about that. I was asked to sort the bear jelly's problem today. Apparently I ha happened to be the only cookie who didn't have more important things to do. But I do. After all, I have my own job to do, right? I'm sorry, my dear. You had to come all this way here. It's fine. It was actually quite fun. Oh, you don't have to pretend. On the other hand, you've proven your best qualities once again. Without question, you joined me to help those poor bear jellies. Such willingness to help is not too common these days. I'm sure this experience has been quite beneficial for you. That's why, no homework today. Rest well, and I'll see you in our next class. I mean, technically it was homework anyways, because there's missions for these anyways, so. Um, is something on your mind? The regents I've ordered for my next experiment were estimated to arrive an hour ago, and I have a conference soon. I cannot remain here any longer. The regents that are arriving today are placements for those we've lost in the previous mishap. I wish to check the potency with my own eyes, but oh well. I could, you know, receive them instead. You? And how am I to entrust such a... Yes, come to think of it, you may suffice. You see my methods and my schedule, and I trust you understand what needs to be done. I thought I was just receiving a package or something. Why does it feel like you're giving me homework? Homework? How childish. I'm asking you for a favor. Okay, okay, I get the point. Hurry and go, or you're going to be late. Wait, how long do I have to wait, though? Well... Gah! Oh, hello, Werewolf Cookie. What brings you here? I brought a package. Oh, you're working deliveries now? No, I was hiding in the alley, minding my own business. The Care Cookie found me and... What do you mean by caught? Couldn't you just, you know, outrun her? But someone might have gotten hurt. Oh, well, thank you for bringing this here. You can just leave it wherever. <laughs> well, of course, he's just like, fine. Wow, he seems to be in a rush. Wait, is that Peppa? A chew. Now, let's see here. Looks like everything's here, right? Ah, uh, just look at you. Your life's becoming more and more complex. I was about to help, but it seems you're doing quite well here. You know, the end of the mes semester is just around the corner. So what do you think? Did you manage to find the goal? Oops, I sort of forgot. So much was going on. What? But that was the foundation of this course. Welp, what can we do? To a certain degree, I was responsible for keeping you busy. I let it slide, just this once. So is the whole course finding a goal? Professor, I've been meaning to ask you the same thing. What was your goal back in the day? Huh? Me? It's a bit complicated. First it was this, then that. However, I still look forward to new experiences every day. A very cookie desire, if you will. A bright new tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> was that a sufficient answer to your question? Alright, let's get to work to ensure your bright new tomorrow. You, I must admit, I'm quite impressed. I think this is the last one, by the way. Gah, I'm sorry, I mean, excuse me? You sorted the regents in proper order. Thanks to your effort, the time I need to invest in expecting them was significantly reduced. Not bad, not bad at all. In light of this recent development, I've decided to neglect your previous error in judgment. Phew, that's the best news I've heard all day. Um, since it seems you're in a good mood and all, could you please check my experiment's progress once more? That 
is an entirely different matter, but yes, I may spare a moment or two. Now let us see how... Wait, huh? What's that, Espresso Cookie? The, the, the extract your units on your experiment. Yes, I see it too. They burst. From a certain point of view, it's fortunate that only one of the, out of the three... How odd. The duration of time, the measurements, the temperature, all were precise. Even the environmental factors were taken into consideration. If we missed an outlying variable... Environmental factors? Oh! I think it's a werewolf hair. It seems you have stumbled upon a eureka moment. A cookie from yesterday. He delivered the regents here. He was rather hairy. No, furry. Um, fluffy. What if one of his hairs managed to mix in? Such a cookie was sent with the regents? I was quite particular with my request for meticulous delivery. No, this simply will not do. So, will the results of this experiment still be valid? Don't be absurd. Of course not. But it's not as dire as it seems. I may not be able to achieve the desired results, but a variable of green points has been discovered. I believe I can no longer afford to monitor this experiment. Once more, the master of coffee magic has tasted nothing but bittersweet results. Wow, he's really bummed out because of this. I wonder if there's a way to cheer him up. And with that, we're done. So, yeah. Um, those stories were pretty interesting. I know it didn't look here, but I'm pretty sure we have a lot more latte and espresso quests done. And same thing with almond cookies, but I'm not quite sure, honestly. We still we still have quite a few quests to go, but what are you going to do? So, let's head on to the real game. Okay, guys, we are here in the real game. Um, this is post-production because, well, for whatever reason, the audio for this section is gone. Don't worry, I swear, it'll be back soon. For most of the video, it's here. It's just gone for this section. So, we'll open our daily things, daily chest. We have some gotcha draws to do and all that stuff. But one thing I plan for today, our main thing is, as you probably saw from the thumbnail or title or whatever, ooh, Sacred Pomegranate Patch, that's great, um, that's a really cool draw, but our main thing for today is that we are doing, um, well, we are getting Tiger Lily cookies, so I really hope she's gonna be good, because, well, I know this now, um, is she good? You have to wait and see, because it's very interesting. But I do need your opinion on I want to know your opinion at the end of this video. I think I mentioned it later, too. But I want to know your opinion on how she does. We do some tests with her later on. But for now, we're doing our cookie draws. I believe my plan is also to spend... I think I end up spending 3,000 gems. And I do 30 additional treasure draws. Because... Or not 30. 15 additional treasure draws. Because I want to do some treasure draws. But I didn't think anything... Well, no, I didn't. I want to do some treasure draws. Because I want to get something good. We got the pomegranate branch, which is cool. It's a good treasure, but I'm not sure if we're going to use it. Because I'm really liking my crit chance up one. Um, one thing I did learn about the witches is supposedly with Epic. Ooh, Epic Latte Cookie. Soul Stones. Um, supposedly with the witch, you actually... when You, you know how Ginger Wave comes in when he opens the like oven at the beginning? Supposedly Clover and Custard Cookie are also there when you pull an Epic. I have not double checked this. Um, I suppose I could have looked back on previous videos and so can you if you want to double check it yourself. But supposedly that's true, so we didn't get anything there. Opening our daily gift up and all its gloriness and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. So for the time being, this is Tyler Little Cookie. She's already level 33, which is good. But we're going to max her out. I, it's still tough, as I was saying here, I think I was saying it's a tough decision between Purple Yam and Sparkling and Tiger Lily. But I end up going with Tiger Lily because of the stun. But I, I still don't know it to this point. I still don't know if it was the right choice. And I, if I do need to switch, I still sh will be able to. It'll suck, but it's better to switch now than to switch later. So if you do think I should switch, then please still let me know. Obviously, don't be like, oh, you made such a stupid decision, but let me know. Cream Dark Cookie is honestly who I'm thinking about this now. Who She's the person I actually want in that slot, but Cream Puff Cookie. Yeah, not having the best luck getting her. So we're going to level up Tiger Little Cookie. And as you see here, getting her to level 36. We're almost down to XP Jelly, so, yeah, we got, um, if we switch to Purple Yam, we can do it, but we'd literally be on XP Jellies, and, yeah, I'm officially in the XP Jelly drought, as I mentioned last time, but, it sucks a little bit, and then so, so many coins towards upgrading her skill, so, in terms of toppings, I think I'm going to run 2 cooldown, 3 damage, she has decent damage, but she also has really good cooldown, we do have the cooldowns, but we only have one Searing Asbury, so we'll only be able to equip and upgrade one of them, the other two I will probably do off camera, but we'll see. Might save them for a video, and honestly, probably depends on what I remember. Um, we'll probably do it off camera, but I might have a... Hopefully by next time we should have those ready and set up. Which the good thing about this is, is that even if I do switch this to 
I'm hoping him at the very least to see him around. Burgers will probably just go straight on to him. But it's it's a little hard to know for now. Just gotta keep on waiting, taking our time. But yeah, so now we do have some events. We do have some more stories still. So we should probably get into that soon. But I think, I think we do get into this. By the way, there's only one cookie castle, or one cookie house left on its way to level 6. It's actually upgrading right now. And then we walk towards the castle upgrade, which we still haven't actually been the stage requirement for. So, you know, we still have to do that. But who knows? Maybe we do it in this video. You'll you'll find out. Um, but yeah, at the very least, if not today, then tomorrow we will have or not. Okay, that's probably getting really annoying for you. So whatever. Collect our daily rewards. Send out our daily gifts is what we're doing now. Um, which I believe right now or soon soon now i think we do at the end of this you'll notice there are two invites and one friend slot so i do invite the last person my friend list is officially full as of this moment um well technically is probably like an hour or two ago depending on when you watch this possibly many many more hours so i guess if you watched in like a year then like a little over a year ago um but yeah so there is one person who you'll see it says my friend list is full. His friend list was full. It didn't let me invite him. So, sorry, dude. That was you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry. So, I love the guild daily gift. The guild items, obviously, for the guild gacha are nice. They're still so hard to get. But, honestly, it's just nice to get the coins. It increases with the guild level. It's a really nice bonus. So, we're going to do some guild gachas. Queen Puff Cookie. I really wish Queen Puff Cookie. It's a 0.3% chance. So ridiculously hard to get. And, yeah. So, we did pull an epic. We pulled a compass. Which is awesome, because... Compasses are really hard to get, they're the hardest rare material to get, they're the most needed rare material. Is that true? I don't know, but I seem at, like, to me it seems like I'm always in need of compasses. Maybe that's not true for you guys. We also got a brick, which is nice. Um, we did skip that one, sort of sucks, because that would have been the epic scene, which is yellow, and would have been cooler. XP jelly really sucks. And then, I believe, if I remember correctly, it is... Yeah, just, just flims of unity. Not even level 3, just level 2. I think the last one's level 3, so the last draw, correct? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Flames of unity level 3, was that the last one, or do we got one more? One more, okay. I honestly don't remember what we got from this, but... Uh, probably not something too great. Yeah, flame of unity level 2, that's... That's not that surprising, but what are you gonna do? Um... Yeah, so we'll level up the guild gotcha, or the guild... Level 12, which is good. I thank you. Thank you, everyone, that's in the guild for that. I really appreciate it. Super helpful. Okay, we're actually in the events page now, so that's good. I'm sorry about the audio not working earlier and it being post-thing footage or post-audio. Um, I haven't actually recorded that yet, but I just found out there was an issue. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Much more beacon stuff, so we'll deal with the story in a sec. Gift rewards, 10 more view. Pair feed the institute. 15, we're two lattes away. I think 15's the final mission, I think. If it's not, then I have no idea what the final mission is, but I think it is, so. We only have one story, but it's still a story, so let's just do it now, and then we can do some battles. Is it my problem that my venerable colleague couldn't predict this incident? Oh yeah, you dear colleague, don't even know what incident means. Excuse me, enough is enough. Monsters bigger than all wizards in the city combined can handle are flooding our home. I don't care who is responsible. My duty is to prevent casualties and municipal property damage. Well then, we must assemble the professors. All professors are already at the front lines protecting the city or trying to figure out a way to close the rift. And yet we need more cookies, you say? My goodness. Ahem, we, we could plead to the Paraphidian League for help. Perfidian League? Was there such a thing? Is this one talking about lighting the beacons? But that's merely a legend. We can't trust our fates to a fairy tale. But it's written in the book that the flame of trust will ever burn in the hearts of those who have taken the oath. Anyone who can anyone can write a book. A jelly frog from my lab has just finished one. What if that book is just a good for nothing piece of fiction? How can you say that? Every student here has written an essay about the legend of the beacons at least once. Don't test my patience. It's only a legend. Even if it's true, it's so old, no one will remember. Oh, so they're calling us to help them. Okay, that makes more sense. 
I don't believe you. If the flame of trust lives in their hearts, they will remember us. I know. The world isn't like they describe in its sweet it in sweet fairy tales. It's full of hard and sharp objects that cause instant crumbling. But that's why we must help and trust each other. A heart that bears hope can make our world a better place. Enough, both of you. You're both right. Cream puff cookie. You will go and light that beacon. It is now your responsibility. That's what she's the beacon guardian. I really hope Almond Cookie doesn't become a Gil Gotcha cookie, because they're so hard to get. What? You're sending a student? And alone? It's too dangerous, even for a grown-up. Well then, any volunteers? Who wants to join the student and light the legendary beacon? I'll go. It's a professor's duty to keep her students out of harm's way. Huh. <sighs> well, can't let you wizards cause more trouble. I'll be going with you. Hmm? Are you implying that we're still under suspicion? I can neither confirm nor deny that allegation. Enough talk. Time is of the essence. Depart immediately. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. So we have a couple more gotchas, two more treasures, and three more cookies now. Another jelly watch, and... Flingshot, okay. And then three cookies. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty bad luck with the crashing so far. Um, two crashes already. Mm, not good, not good at all. But we're making our way through. I can't wait to actually try out Tiger Lily and then do some PvP battles too because I'm interested. I think I fought her once or twice. She was really powerful. Her stun was super good because it disables all alts and stuff. And I think it'll mostly be noticeable in arena battles, which is why we're going to do some of those. But come on. First, I actually need to. Oh, it cheated on our draw. We lost a cookie draw. No, no, no. Game, you have to. You know my account, whatever. Give me back my cookie draw. Unless we got something it just didn't tell me, which is possible. So supposedly that means no epic, right? Nope, epic. Um, okay, so, but those weren't hearts, those were demon things. So what does that mean? Is that the same as the hearts? Is it? Those were demons. That just means cookie. So I wonder if demons means rare cookie then. Okay, so demon eye, rare cookie. Still just saying which means no epic, right? Yes. Okay. Um, sure. So I- no epic, I or at least no epic cookie and no rare cookie either. Right? Okay, it's gonna take me a while to confirm if that stuff true is true, but I think it is. So we're actually gonna quickly, because it's only a thousand gems, we're gonna do... Two, three, three? Let's do 15 treasure draws. The equivalent of 10 cookies. Is it worth it? Eh, no idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Draw. I really hope we get some good stuff in this, because otherwise I'm wasting so many gems. Least a jelly watch. Only one jelly watch, that's not great. And that one more jelly watch. Can we at least get two more from these sets? I'm opening so many of these. Hey, another sacred pomegranate batch. Once again, don't really want it, but I'll take it. Okay, one more. <laughs> this is not going very well. At least two more of the watches, please. Oh, we've gotten so many tentacle pulls. Oh, that sucks so much. So much. But if we go to our, not storage, cookies, treasures, the pomegranate branch is pretty good. Plus we can get to level two. Uh, shield absorbing 50% of target's HP. That's not bad. However, I'm currently a big fan of the increased crit chance, so I'm gonna hold on to the crit chance for now, but that's not, that's not terrible, okay? I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. But currently, it's time for battle. I'm starting with arenas, though, because arena's gonna be fun. We do these. So there's really, realistically, there's one that will totally win. This is the one that's much more undecided. This is a very similar team to us, which, in lookingly, just looking at this, makes it seem like they're much more powerful than us, since cookies are higher level. Oh, wait, we didn't actually make the switch yet. This actually increased our power level slightly. She's a rear, by the way, which is interesting, so we'll leave him with just him in the front lines. Our power level did go up because she's higher level. Now our team average is 36. Still, I don't really get why our power level is so much higher than theirs. I guess treasures makes the difference. Well, let's see. This is going to actually be a fairly interesting battle to watch. Because I'm not so sure. Tiger Lily Cookie, we're going to see her. It's useful. Keep in mind, still missing quite a bit of damage buffs. How's it gonna go? She's last in order because of here, which isn't very good. And realistically, I'd probably use it first. But she stuns them all. Which is pretty good. It keeps them dazed. Enough time for us to recharge our abilities. Theirs do come back. 
but they can't use them while they're stunned. So, was that a good test of her power? She's losing so much health, man. She has no health whatsoever. Wow, she's even weaker than Licorice Cookie. I guess that's another benefit, actually. She'll take the damage from, um... Actually, she'll probably take damage from both Vampire and Dry. That's interesting. But was that good? Um, I, I don't know. I was, for a while there, I was like, oh, she's gonna be super powerful. I'm, I'm beginning to already regret my decision. It's really hard to go back on my decision because I spent, like, an insane amount of... Not insane, but I spent a lot of coins and a lot of XP jellies on her. To switch to Purple Yam now would be a big waste. But this test isn't going so well. She has no health, first of all. The daze is useful, but I'm not sure... I don't know. It's really hard to tell so far. So far, I'm almost thinking that my team was stronger with Milk Cookie, especially if I would have leveled him up the last four levels. I need your input on this, okay? Was this a mistake? Should I have switched to Purple Yam instead? I'm instantly starting to regret it. I feel like I should have gotten Purple Yam. Um, um, yeah. So, that was, that's, that's interesting. That's a quest, right? Now we still need one more latte? Okay. Um, but yeah, that could have gone better. So, world exploration time. We're doing some stages. Not here. Why are we here? We are going to chapter 5, because I think... Well, I don't know if we can finish it. We probably can't finish. But we can at least get close to finishing it. So that's what we're going to do. Continuing on. Plus, we're switching our team here as well. Maybe here we'll see a bigger difference. Whether for better or worse. But I'm definitely telling you, I am very nervous after that. That made me... That made me a lot more nervous than I wanted to be. Because I was thinking, oh, she'll be so OP. Maybe that just wasn't a good test. I, I don't know. And it's honestly, it's hard to know. She's the last ability slot now. It's interesting. Because if we use the ability, it stuns and does damage. And she's on her tiger for a while. That's her tiger's HP. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Her tiger has health. She jumps to the front. And her tiger, while well, she has her tiger up, it tanks damage. That's really good. Like, insanely, insanely good. Well, no. That's better than I thought it was. The damage is decent. It's not insane. But it's definitely decent. Um, the stun's nice, but it's definitely more noticeable, I think, in Amina against other cookies. I don't know. It stuns them, and it takes some damage. I, I honestly can't tell. I'm starting to think Poppy M would have been better, but it's hard to know, because they're very different cookies, obviously. So it's not quite as obvious. Because maybe, for all I know, Milk Cookie didn't make a much bigger difference than I thought he did. This, I, don't, I don't know. I'm showing you example now, I guess. So, worst case scenario, I made a mistake, and you guys can learn from my mistake, at least. Hopefully, you haven't done the same mistake yet. Um, but if I did make a mistake here, hopefully, at the very least, you guys will be able to learn from my mistake. Damage-wise, there is numbers that pop up. Let's see. What's the number damage? I think that's 7, I thought? Or that, well, her attack's 7,000. I can't tell. I honestly, I really can't tell. This is why they need a training dummy. I mentioned this in an earlier video. They really need to add like a training dummy or some sort of training zone or something. Whether it be a boss or a literal enemy, like literally a training dummy that just has like infinite health or whatever. Or they could even do, like they could do so much with it if they really want to. They want to invest a lot of time into it. They could literally make it like complete sandbox. You can like, they could make a level editor for this game. That would be cool. I don't know how doable it would be, but it would be super cool if you could just, like, make levels for each other. I mean, they could even have a competition for, like, designing levels for the game. Like, more serious or sharing levels. I don't know, I'm thinking of ways to make this game, like, I guess last longer or whatever. So much lag there, that was scary. Um, but the thing is that we- that would be so cool if you could design levels. It wouldn't be that complicated, just, like, make- increase or decrease number of waves and- give you options of which enemies to put in and stuff. Like, you could do tons of restrictions with the two. It'd be really basic, but it'd still be fun. What? An enormous plant? Girl. Girl. Wait. Girl. Girl. Whatever. Cookie. Cookieverous plant. Okay, that's a good name. God, give me, give my hat back. You have your hat. This is a cook. I'm gonna say this so wrong. 
cookieverous plant. It is capable of grinding us into flour with its sharp teeth. I know how to handle plants. Let me try. She looks like a ghost. Her skin's fade like her cookie dough is faded. Really? Really? Crash number three already? Okay, I'm beating the stage. Or I'm doing whatever there is now with the plant. I'm at least beating one more stage, and then I think we're done here because so much issues and so much lag and crashing and blah. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish we could do more, but while all this stuff is still messing up, then it makes things more difficult to do, and it's annoying. Very, very annoying, but we're making our way through still, doing all our stuff, all those things. I wish we could finish a lot, actually. So much game lag still. Before we do that, how much longer is on this latte? I'm honestly tempted to skip the thing. It would be a waste of so many time skips. But do I do it? Content. I'm calling it content. That was so expensive. So, so expensive. This better be the last quest, because I spent... Well, I mean, it wasn't actually expensive, because it's an item I had, but it's such a waste. Welcome. Ta-da! It's our last class. It is the last class. Knew it. Time does fly by. Did you enjoy this course? You've certainly made progress with your magic lives. Now the biggest question remains. What is your goal? Hmm. To ensure a better future? Haha. <laughs> a great goal. But I was under... Under... I was under impression that you also like to help others. Am I right? Um, well, I think I do. Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you become a wizard. I wonder what your goal will be when we meet again. Ah, uh, you might even mention me in your graduation speech. Anyhow, if something troubles you, come to me. Understood? I love how she's taking- I am curious, do these teachers know that she's taking all three of their classes? I'm honestly curious. She, he, I guess it's just student. We don't actually know. I don't know why I said she. Dear student, congratulations on finishing the course. So we did finish it. Worth. It was worth it for the content. I don't care. Okay, to be honest, I'm really nervous that the game's gonna crash again here because it crashed. Again. So we're dealing with this plant. That's it. Remove zero seconds. Boom. I don't know why we had to do that. Whatever. Quests. Is there more story? Nope. Okay, well, you know what? That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and join the Pop Elfin Squad. It makes my date super nice. I really do appreciate it. Other things. Is Tiger Lily Cookie good? Did I make a mistake? I, I, I want your opinion on this because I think I might have. I'm nervous that I did. Also, um, we completed our first course, so that's cool. A uh, latte, like I said, was. Or not latte. Espresso, like I said, is pretty close. Um, what's his face? Almond Cookie. His are taking forever. He has expedition quests and they're so. So so I know it could actually do it more efficient, but I'm, I I don't know. They're taking a while. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.